Okay, my question is from seven uh, E uh, Asmit Pratap Singh. Not responding. Okay. Um, <clears throat> who will tell me the components of this electric bell? Okay. Who will tell me the component? Each component of the electric bell. Okay. Sadhgi Singh. Okay. Sadhgi. First, you tell me if this circuit is open circuit or closed circuit. First, tell me. So it's an open circuit. Okay. It is open circuit. And just tell me, open circuit means current will flow or current will not flow through the circuit. Current will not flow. Okay, fine. Okay, I use Sirvasto. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me, what is uh, open circuit? Is it on condition or off condition? Sir, open circuit is off condition. Okay, fine. Okay, Utsav Dikshit, <clears throat> what is this? As part of the electric bell. This part. Sir, it is in man. Okay. Uh, okay, Ankita Verma. What is this two yes, part called? Sir, gong and hammer. Gong, hammer. Okay. And this part? Sir, electromagnet. Electromagnet. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> so, this is battery and the big size. The big bar will represent the positive terminal of battery and the small bar will represent negative terminal of the battery. And current will flow from the positive terminal. Okay, so as we close the circuit, means as we connect the both the wires with the switch or something like this, as we close the circuit, close circuit means on condition. Okay, now current will flow. Current will flow. As the current will flow, what happened? This arrangement that's called solenoid acts as a electromagnet now it will behave like a magnet this is electromagnet and we also know electromagnet shows the property of a magnet as the current is flowing through it if the current is not flowing through the electromagnet or this arrangement solenoid so what happened it will not show any property of the magnet now <clears throat> Okay, who will tell me the working of this electromagnet? Okay, Ankita. Ankita Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ankita. Sir, okay. when the switch is on, uh, the First current flows. Okay. okay. Sir, okay. when the switch is on, the current flows through the electromagnet, and sir, it at attracts the armature. This armature. Okay. So, and, sir, as, as it attracts the armature, what happens? Sir, uh, the hammer is strike the gong. Okay, very good. And sir, the pull from the so solenoid breaks the circuit. And sir, the electromagnet is disabled and moved to the normal position. Okay. Sir, the process gets... Okay, sir. Okay, fine. Very good. So, here we have discussed in the last turn what happened. As we on the switch, the circuit is closed. Okay, now it is complete circuit. What happened? This arrangement, this solenoid behave as an electromagnet. And what happened? It will attract, this armature is made up of soft iron core. So what happens? <clears throat> this armature will attract toward the electromagnet. As it attracts, what happened? This circuit breaks. Now, as it moves from this position, circuit breaks. So what happened? Now, again, what happened? This arrangement behave like a normal solenoid. Means it will not behave like a magnet. It will demagnetize. So as it demagnetized, what happened? The attracted armature, which is attracted towards the this electromagnet, will again or return to its initial position. So as it returns, again the it touches the wire, again the circuit is closed, and this process continues. But 
when this armature when this armature attracts towards the electromagnet what happens this whole arrangement will move and as it moves what happens this hammer or the strikers strike on the gong and produce sound okay so on this this is the working of electric bell i hope all you have understand okay so now we will start our next unit that is electric circuit and its component now <clears throat> the first topic is quantity of electric charge and before uh, discussing uh, the topic quantity of electric charge i want to ask you uh, what is the means uh, you have discussed about the properties of liquid so liquid flow from uh, dash to dash if i give you fill in the blanks liquid flow from dash to dash so what will be the answer okay ans okay what will be the answer yes ans sir i have doubt too sorry sir i have doubt sir huh. that's why i raised your hand okay okay what is your doubt so i didn't know the that connected screw contact screw okay contact screw that is <clears throat> connect a uh, connected screw is in like this position or spring we can say as the magnet gets towards the uh, do you have a book with you yes sir okay so it just uh, contact screw is attachment is to complete the circuit okay to complete the circuit i have show you the simple uh, diagram of electric bell so contact screw goes is just to it is a conductor you know screw is a conductor just to complete the circuit and the working of spring in the electric bell that is given in your book that what happened spring yeah. have a spring energy as it attached towards the electromagnet and circuit breaks you know na as it attracts towards the electromagnet the circuit breaks because yes. it lose the contact with the screw okay yes sir. so what happened the spring have a force or spring have a energy as it demagnetize the spring again pull towards its initial position as it again return to its initial position it again get contact with the screw and circuit again the circuit is closed and again the soft iron core or this uh, solenoid get magnetized and again it goes towards it and this process continue and we hear a uh, sound by the electric bell okay, okay sir thank you sir okay nitish yes nitish if i give you question water flows from so what will be the answer okay ankita sir from downwards to upwards okay uh, no no that okay vaishnavi okay so water flows from higher level to lower level if you keep the water at this height all this water flow from high level to low level okay so higher to lower level okay so in the same way the electric electricity flow from higher potential to lower potential okay put your hands down all of you so electricity flow from higher to lower potential and we will discuss later what is potential and what is uh, higher potential and what is lower potential okay so first we have to remember that electricity always flow from higher potential to lower potential now the number of charge electron which jet from higher to lower potential is called quantity of charge now this you know about quantity and quality quantity denotes the number okay so number of electron see in electricity always electron are responsible for the electric electric flow okay nitish 7b uh, is there any doubt nitish okay so let's continue so the number of charge or electrons 
which shift from higher to lower potential is called quantity of charge. Okay, so quantity denotes the number of charge, and always remember electrons are responsible for the electric flow or electricity. Always electron flow. Okay, and the first thing, electron responsible for electric flow or electricity. Electric flow. and if the electron flows from east to west direction if the electron flows from east to west direction then we have considered the flow of current the flow of current is just opposite to the flow of electron electron flow from east to west direction so the direction of flow of current will be west to east direction so here we can write direction of electric current electric current is opposite of flow of electron opposite of flow of electron we all know every matter is made up of atoms and in every atoms what are there there are three sub atomic particles that is electron proton and neutron proton and neutron is in nucleus and electron is in outer shell outer orbit okay so electron always responsible for the flow of electron okay and there are two types of charge okay as we have discussed there are two poles of magnet south pole and north pole similarly we will discuss two types of charge that is positive charge and negative charge and this positive negative is not uh, related to the mathematics plus and minus okay we have named it positive charge and negative charge by their nature okay now the same property two charge two types of charge okay that is positive and negative and we will discuss the properties of charge as we have discussed the properties of the poles of a magnet like poles repel each other like poles repel each other means south south will repel each other north north will repel each other just like here and unlike poles okay unlike poles attract each other if we bring north and south pole near to each other what happen they will attract each other In the same way like charge repel each other unlike charge attract each other so the property of charge like charge what happened repulsion repulsion if you put positive and positive charge together what happened they will repel each other they will go away from each other just in the similar way if we keep two negative charge two negative charge are like or the same it will go away from each other so the first property of charge two types of charge we will discuss positive charge negative charge okay positive charge sorry like charge repulsion means if we keep two positive charge that is like the same that it will repel if we keep two negative charge so what happened repulsion occurs now second property is just similar to the properties of a magnet unlike charge attract each other so second property unlike charge what happened in unlike charge attraction attraction means if we keep two unlike charge two different charge two types of charge we have discussed positive and negative what happened they will attract each other they will attract towards each other so unlike charge attraction like charge repulsion and one question from you from the last unit 7.1 so we have discussed that that a magnet will always exist as two in two poles if we cut the magnet in two hall, halves what happen there is automatically opposite poles will generate on the magnet okay yes bhavi ka dubey any doubt no sir okay so just put your hands down so 
माई क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम यू इफ वी कट अ मैग्नेट वी नो द मैग्नेट एग्जिस्ट इन टू पोल्स दैट इज नॉर्थ पोल एंड साउथ पोल इफ वी कट मैग्नेट इन टू थ्री हाफ इन थ्री इक्वल पार्ट वी हैव कट इन टू थ्री इक्वल पार्ट थ्री इक्वल पार्ट सो यू हैव टू टेल मी द नंबर ऑफ पोल्स नंबर ऑफ पोल्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ पोल्स in all three equal parts of magnet number of poles if we cut this magnet into three equal parts okay 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 ankita verma aditya arya okay aditya can you hear me okay mukund singh Uh, reply past hello gopal sir good morning good morning sir i am aditya okay just uh, tell me answer sir six poles six poles okay uh, fine okay we will take another student okay sadhiki answer your answer sir there will be six poles <coughs> okay anvesha gupta 70 Your answer, Anvisha Gupta. And she is not responding. Okay, let's see. We have cut this magnet into three equal parts. As we cut, which pole will develop in the first magnet? Here, north pole, just opposite of north, south pole. Now, here, south, opposite of south, here, north pole will develop. North here, south. Again here is south pole, and which pole will generate here? Opposite of south, north. Now total number of poles one, two, three, four, five, six. So answer will be six poles. Okay. So those who have given answer, that's the right answer. Okay, put your hands down. No need to raise your hands. now just uh, we will get back to our topic that uh, we are discussing the quantity of charge and the charge is represented by the symbol capital q so charge is represented by symbol capital q okay and in the same way when we take some things from the grocery store so what happened they measure it if we take oil they will measure and give in the liter and if you take something like sugar or something they will measure in kilogram means each having unit so in the same way the unit of charge or we can say si unit of charge is coulomb that is represented by capital c okay and it is named after the scientist charles agustin de coulomb okay so charge we have discussed two types of charge positive negative uh, properties of charge if charges are of same nature means like charge will repel each other unlike charge attract each other si unit of charge is coulomb okay now what is the definition of coulomb the quantity of electric charge which will deposit 0.00118 gram of silver on the cathode when passed through the silver nitrate solution is called one coulomb okay let's understand this <clears throat> so there are this is electrolyte solution in chemistry you will discuss okay and there are two things anode and cathode cathode here the thing is opposite in cation and ion cation is positive okay but here anode is positive and cathode is negative okay so what happened if we pass one coulomb charge one coulomb charge so from here silver deposited quantity of silver deposited is 0.00118 so we can define if we pass one coulomb charge 
So what happened? The quantity of electric charge which will deposit 0.001118 gram of silver on the cathode when passed through the silver nitrate solution, and it is called one coulomb charge. Okay, and we can define one coulomb charge in the another definition that one coulomb of electric charge is carried by current of one ampere flowing by one second. And this current and the rest of the things we will discuss in a next class. And one thing we have to remember the data, this value. One coulomb charge is equals to how many of how many electrons? Six point two five into ten raised to the power nineteen electrons. Okay. So in the next turn we have to remember about. Okay, rest of the doubt we will discuss in the evening session, or you can just ask me uh, at in between four to uh, between five to six. Okay, now the class time is over, so we will meet in the next class. For now, thank you. Bye.